6-20-22 EOG. Now, this company has been in the bull run when we featured it. Energy has been ripping all year. Oh, yeah. That was the bull run for the last three months, okay? Now, when you can see the top that's been put in, my fellow traders, and that we broke below the 50, we broke below the 100, but when we test that 200, that's where we're going to look at loading the boat. And we continue to see this to be the next bull run when testing key moving averages. And yeah, it was a great run for a long time. And that whole sector went up every single day, every single day, every single day. Not only do we have EOG, we have ConocoPhillips in here. We're going to cover quite a few of them today. We're going to cover the setups. We're going to cover how we trade options with them. We're going to cover how we let winners run. We're going to do all kinds of things. And this is the bull market, that EOG. And I can just tell you, it's very clear that when we started featuring it back over here, yeah, on 519, not long ago, and we went up and we made a high on EOG. Yeah, we did, 148. And right now, Friday's low, as we see it, was 109. The 200 week or 200 simple day moving average is, is at 104.6. If it hits it, that's where our discipline is. That's what we've been waiting for. The sell signal is minus 3.4. The stochastic is at 4.3. And that type of stochastic is getting down in what we call oversold condition. And by lining up many things that go together, we can understand where... That is a monumental test at that 200 day. We'll look at loading the boat and we'll look at going 90 days out again. And once again, the inflationary trade right here is that inflation, in my view, has always got a peaking point and a pullback point and an entry point to go to make new highs again. So EOG is on our number one setup. Sign up for the free five day trial. Get the stock pick alerts that we have available. Call us today.